Syracuse and Michigan. Now, I have Syracuse winning this game, even though Michigan, it seems like, according to my co-host Ben this morning, is a two-point, uh, two-and-a-half point favorite, excuse me. I, for some reason, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the Big Ten teams. Maybe it's just the fact that when I watch the Syracuse zone this year, especially against my alma mater, Indiana, they look so good. With Brandon Trish, who's 6'4", Carter Williams, who's 6'6", who should absolutely leave for the NBA draft after this year. Sutherland's over there. C.J. Fair is one of the best swingmen, I believe, in the tournament. I mean, can Michigan really keep up with Syracuse? Are they going to be able to? I mean, you're not going to ask Stauskas to shoot, you know, 9-9 nine and nine from three-point range or 6-6 six six like he did in his last game against Florida. But how exactly do you beat it? I do think Syracuse is uh, that two three zone is clicking, but they got to be able to make shots. And frankly, they haven't. Uh, that hasn't been something they've been doing all year is making shots. They are now. That's, that's kind of what started their little turnaround in the Big East tournament. Um, but yeah, when you're looking at get, about breaking that zone, um, just look at look at Trey Burke. I, I mean, he's winning every Player of the Year award there is out there. You got to have a the, the team quarterback who's making smart passes. Who's, who's getting him all the right guy. And, and what, what, what the Michigan players kept on saying today was we don't need to always look for the great shot. We need to be satisfied with taking the good shot because if you have the good shot and you pass it up, it won't always come back. If Syracuse makes their shots, I think you're right. But really, this is to me, this is a... Uh, the definition of a toss-up game, uh, strength on strength, you know. This will be Michigan's first Final Four in 20 years. And John Beeline, by the way, everyone knows that he coached West Virginia. Uh, of course, he had his son there. He had Pitsnoggle, which is by far one of the best names ever in college basketball history. He is 0-9. <laughs> agreed, agreed, agreed. He is 0-9 against Syracuse. Okay. This is a tough, tough team, a really good team. But a lot of people are saying, well, the one positive is that Trey Burke is a good point guard and he's won all these, he's won all these awards. You know, he won the Wooden Award. He won the AP Player of the Year Award. He beat out Oladipo. He's a great, great slasher. He can penetrate the zone. With Carter Williams and Trish, how exactly can he penetrate the zone? I mean, they, those two guys absolutely lock up the middle, Reed. I mean, long arms, Syracuse, they, 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 they recruit to that. They're not taking any six-footers. I mean... Burke is six feet tall. Uh, Carter Williams is, I think, six six. Six six. And yeah. he, frankly, he looks like he's six nine because he's so kind of gangly. Um, it's uh, he doesn't even look like a point guard. Carter Williams doesn't. Uh, he looks like uh, kind of a small forward type. Every time there's a lane that's open, you know, a split second later it closes. Um, and uh, they're playing like a team now, like they weren't earlier in the season. And it, it, I think it's it's a tall task for both teams, frankly. Because with Mitch McGarry uh, coming on like he has, um, Syracuse has not necessarily played all that well against uh, dominating yeah. big men this year. So uh, I really, yeah, this is this is again to me the definition of a toss up game. Reed, let me let me just jump in here for a second. You know, you talk about Mitch McGarry, and yeah, he has come into his own, and he has looked fantastic throughout this tournament. But Cody Zeller, I believe, has more fundamentals, and I'm not saying this from a biased perspective at all. I'm really not. I just think Cody Zeller is yes, a... Yes, you are. Is it? No, no. I think he's a more <laughs> fundamental basketball player than Mitch McGarry. And Syracuse yes, shut down Cody Zeller. So what? So how is McGarry going to get his points? Because Cody Zeller is... I hate to use this word because he's a nice man, but he's a little bit soft. He, he got tossed around by Minnesota. He, he's, he's prone to struggling against strong, powerful, big men. And that's what Mitch McGarry has, has all of a sudden become. And in fact, that's what Glenn Robinson III is, too. Uh, a pretty a strong, powerful dude. I think it's absolutely possible. I don't even want to use the word probable, because, uh, like I said, this is such a strength-on-strength strength game. But, but, but I do think uh, Michigan can beat this zone, um, despite the fact that this is like, Mayhem said this is the the greatest zone team that he's had uh, in his 37 years of coaching. So you have Michigan beating Syracuse? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, if I had to pick one, I, I, I'm going to take Louisville beating Michigan in the national title game. Oh, um, okay. I, I feel somewhat certain about I – feel, I feel very certain about Louisville. I feel kind of certain about Michigan. I have Louisville and Syracuse, to be honest with you. I think it'll be a Big East matchup. We'll get to the national championship game when it occurs.